The Atomic Energy Council notified Thai Power today of its final decision to allow the company to restart its number two reactor at Guoshen Nuclear Power Plant. And estimates are that the plant could be at full capacity by late March and deliver 985 megawatts of power to the country's grid, a 2.7 percent increase for reserve capacity. Environmental groups, however, have denounced the decision. Switching off lights can save energy, but Taiwan's energy demands over the next two months will be hard to meet just by small changes in public habits. To ensure a reliable supply of power during the high-demand summer season, today the Atomic Energy Council made the final decision to allow a restart of the number two reactor at Guosheng Nuclear Power Plant. At this moment, we are taking into consideration total power supply and demand requirements, air quality, annual maintenance scheduling, and total reserve capacity. After this, we will discuss the time for restarting reactor number two. Thai Power stated that the reactor, offline for more than 600 days, could be restarted tomorrow at the earliest, estimating full capacity generation by late March. The reactor will provide 985 megawatts across Taiwan, an increased reserve capacity by 2.7 percent. However, environmental groups are unhappy. If it was a normal power plant, then I wouldn't worry. But it's not a normal plant. It's an extremely dangerous plant. All the worst things have already happened there. So for me personally, I've already made preparations to evacuate at a moment's notice. Environmentalist groups have been unrelenting in their criticism, stating that Guosheng's Reactor 2 is outdated and should be retired immediately. To restart it now is a high-risk strategy, they say, with potential fallout from an accident too terrible a chance to take.